All right, so I'm here with my 1989 F-150 with the uh, 4.9 liter inline six. Um, and I've been trying to figure out uh, uh, an idle issue where it just kind of hunts around like it has a vacuum leak, but I smoke tested it and uh, no vacuum leak. So I thought maybe it was a bad fuel pressure regulator. Sure enough, when I pulled the vacuum line off the, you can see it right down there, vacuum line off the fuel pressure regulator, after it idles for a minute or so, fuel will start squirting out. And uh, yeah, so that's that's a pretty surefire way to know it's bad. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is get the regulator out without having to take all this off. Um, you can see, let's see if I can get this to focus. You can see down there, there's one, uh, two down there, and then there's a third screw in the back that's all that holds it in. So I'm gonna see if I can finesse this thing out without uh, having to take, you know, intake, all that stuff off. So here's what I was able to do to get the first screw out. I got a couple, extent, couple of extensions on my impact with the, uh, with the bit, in. I'm sorry, it's not really focusing, with the bit down there at the end. Um, and that was long enough to get the first screw out. It's also really helpful to have one of these uh, one of these magnets uh, to grab the screws once you get them out. Now the uh, the impact didn't fit for the second one, um, but again, I'm sorry, it's not really it's tough to get it to focus all the way down there. But I was able to use just a bunch of extensions um, off the end of a screwdriver, and I was able to get the uh, second screw out that way. All right, for the one at the back, I uh, took a quarter inch driver ratchet and just put the, uh, really the only bit I had, I didn't have an Allen bit. I just had a Torx bit, but just slid slid that back in there and worked it out. Um, yeah. I uh, got the old uh, old pressure regulator and the new one. Um, I think, uh, unfortunately, putting the new one, new one in is gonna be a little trickier uh, getting those screws started, but um, Old one came out in about half an hour, which uh, really beats having to pull pull the whole intake manifold off. And you know, you save a couple bucks uh, by not having to buy a new gasket too. All right, I got the new uh, regulator in, got all those screws back in. Um, what helped What helped with that was uh, just taping, taping the screws to the end of whatever I was using to get them in, just to make sure they didn't slide around. Um, or fall off, but uh, yeah, got the new regulator in. Trucks are running a lot more smoothly, um, so yeah, hope hope that helps.